face good morning so uh i looked <clears throat> excuse me i'm getting sick um i looked to see what was going on because i had had that those two dreams the one where i heard the lord speak and say 40 days while well, yesterday between yesterday and today it would have completed the 40 days. So I thought, well, what's going on in the world right now? And I woke up to this. French election investigation launched into massive hacking attack on Emmanuel Macron's campaign. The French Election Commission is investigating a hacking attack on President Candidate Emmanuel Macron a day before the country goes to the polls. And with uh, Leclerc, uh, they're running against each other for France. Uh, so they're, they are currently blaming Russia. Um, let me see if I could play this. Sorry, it was Marie Le Pen. It's Le Pen. And, and Le Pen is kind of like over there to France and everywhere. She's, you know, she's looked upon over there as like a Donald Trump. So, uh, there's some squirrely stuff going on over there right now, just like how we had over here. And, um, there's other articles that I've just read that are saying that it's, they're making it a crime for any of these reporters or um, people to post any of these hacked uh, emails. And they're also saying that there's dummy emails. Like if any of them get out, um, you know, if, if anybody finds any information about these emails that, oh, they're just dummy emails. They're just made up. And so I real, I'm really thinking back and I'm really thinking that this goes along also with the dream that I had um, a week ago I was given. It starts out that Putin was in a barn with this woman. He had this woman bound behind her back. And uh, I know I've said it before, but I'm, I'm going to kind of do a rundown again. And I've been trying to figure out who's the woman. I thought it, it might have been America. But uh, this woman had, like, blonde hair, fair skin, very beautiful. Um, but uh, Putin had left the barn, and along came this, like, dark kind of samurai guy and promised that he would save her or free her or something like that. And... Um, and she, you know, she was scared. Either way, she was scared. She was scared of Putin. She was scared of this person. But she didn't want to be bound, so she agreed. And he made her lean over and drink out of this bowl. And as she was doing that, he took his helmet or his helmet off. And um, I seen that he was like this vampire. And he bit her on the back of the neck. And then she changed into a vampire. And then um, in the middle, then it went to a next scene, which was about me and this this crutch, and it had this apron and anointing oil in it. And then after that, it went to, I think it went back to um, uh, talking about the same thing as the first part of the dream, but um, the Lord used two horses to show me. One was a light horse, one was a, a black horse. And this black horse... Ha 
uh, the light horse was lame. It had half of its foot chopped off, but it had healed. And it was like getting around pretty good. Well, they were both stallions. They were both males. And um, one, uh, the black horse spit the white horse on the neck. And that white horse took off running like you wouldn't even believe it was scared. And so I believe that the white horse represents that the female that Putin had locked up. And I believe the black horse is represents the, the uh, samurai knight that had freed her but made her a slave to him but then turned on her like the horse turned on her and bit her in the neck again so um we are really starting in the tribulation i mean the tribulation we are coming upon it it is we're getting closer and closer this stuff let's just be watching about what's coming out um those dreams were about that dream was about nations um backstabbing each other and in my opinion, I don't think Putin hacked the election. I don't think Putin ha hacked the election. I think a lot of this has to do with um, Korea and China hacking. I mean, they are very advanced, very, very intelligent, electronically advanced. And I think the all these people know what's going on. All these um, rulers and the electors, they know what's going on. And they're trying to hide it from us, you guys. Um, so they're trying to hide it from us. So it does not, so we don't scream war or, you know, all these worlds are trying to delay the war that is coming. Um, here's another thing here. We'll see if it plays. For President Trump and the team he has tried to assemble for his administration. New today, there are questions about what has happened with the Russian investigation, but it goes beyond that as well to public pressure aimed at one of his nominees that forced an abrupt withdrawal to that former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn and suspicions he raised about his contacts with the Russian ambassador. Questions about Russia swirling around the Trump administration again this morning. The Washington Post reports former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn was warned about the risks of his contacts with the Russian ambassador to the U.S. weeks before the December phone call that led to Flynn's resignation. A former Obama administration official confirms to NBC News Trump advisors asked to see a CIA profile on Sergei Kislyak amid concern that Flynn did not have have a full understanding of the Russian ambassador. This, as NBC News has learned, that former Trump foreign policy advisor Carter Page has been asked by the Senate Intelligence Committee to turn over any proof of any contacts with the Russians. The Senate panel looking into Russian interference in the U.S. election and whether any Trump associates helped the Russians leak damaging information about Hillary Clinton. Meantime, forced out by controversy. It is tough to run for office. Mark Green, President Trump's nominee for Army Secretary, withdrew under pressure Friday, accused of bias by the LGBTQ community for comments like this. Now, if you poll the psychiatrists, they're going to tell you that transgender is a disease. Like the human rights campaign that made this video organized to block sure. Green. A Tennessee state senator, Green is a West Point graduate and doctor who treated Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein. In a statement, Green said, Tragically, my life of public service and my Christian beliefs have been mischaracterized and attacked for political gain. And we're here in New Jersey today because President Trump will be spending a number of his weekends over the summer months at his Bedminster, New Jersey golf course. On Saturday, he signed into law an omnibus spending budget, and that included $120 million in extra funding for security. Some of that for the Secret Service, others to reimburse local communities like Palm Beach, Florida, and New York City that have incurred extra costs because of the president's travel. Chanel? Kelly, thank you. Alexa, 
Okay, so... Anyway, this is all this happening over there has um, brought back a lot of more stuff over here and some kind of uh, just a lot of hell's breaking loose politically. So let's keep our eyes watching. Um, we're getting closer and closer to the tribulation. Um, you know, this is going to make a lot of people mad that are in charge over a lot of countries and stuff. We don't know what's going to happen from here. but um, And I at the beginning of that clip, I don't know, I think I was already played it for a while, but it showed Obama, and he was endorsing this man, uh, Macron, Emmanuel Macron. So he did like a little video clip, and I was thinking, man, o Obama looks old. You know, you know how presidents, when they get done with their terms, they just automatically they change. They look like 20, 20 years uh, older. So, anyway, you guys, I'm just praying for us, and I'm praying uh, for these, uh, that the Lord would sort this all out and just... Uh, I'm just praying for him to come, really. In Jesus' name, amen.